with the, the imprisoned doctor who's gone away for several lifetimes. I actually, a year ago, um, was detected with a little tiny melanoma on my ear. And you know what they did? They cut the cancer out. I'm perfectly fine. Nasser, in some ways, was cancer here. He was a psychopath, one person who abused and violated the trust of young girls and women for a long period of time. And I think that, you know, for us to think about these survivors and what they went through and what they've now had to come public and talk about with their stories, it's, it's a heart-wrenching story to listen to. But it was one doctor, um, a very evil doctor, monstrous crimes, he's gone. The quality of the health care that we're talking about today, the men and women who are physicians here, who are nurses, who serve the public, they didn't commit those crimes. And we have exhaustively looked at, and you've heard me make announcements about at least one person, and you know, that I think in a supervisory role disappointed us, but, but Nasser himself, um, he, he left so many victims, hundreds of victims in his trail. But that was him. At the same time, over that 20 year period, Thousands of people were cured, thousands of people were treated successfully for diseases and ailments, and they're living great lives today and are grateful for the care received. What we've, and you heard Norm make this pledge, and Andy make the pledge, and Randy, and I certainly endorse that, is safe quality care, a model for the nation, and a new model now that we're talking about here. So I think that uh, we have to focus on what we can do forward uh, to make sure that any patient who comes through our doors, and I said no wrong door. Every door you walk through needs to be a safe door. Every door you walk through needs to have quality care on the other side of the door waiting for you.